I recently saw this recipe on a huge YouTube channel and I knew I had to try it. It's so simple and while it takes a bit of time, it's quite easy and it's really delicious. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Or if you're new here, my name is Stephanie and this is Ginger Snap Kitchen. The first thing I did was peel and dice two medium russet potatoes. I placed them in a baking dish, covered it, poked a few holes for the steam to vent, and microwaved the potatoes for about eight minutes until they were tender. Once they were tender, I mashed them with a potato masher until they were smooth. Then I transferred them to a large bowl. And once they were cool enough to handle, I began making the dough. I added potato starch and water, and I mixed them together with my hands until it made a smooth dough. I added the water a little at a time until I was happy with the consistency. Then I pulled off small pieces and rolled them into balls. I pressed each of them with the mouth of a bottle to create a mushroom shape. Once all of the dough had been rolled, I transferred them to a pot of boiling water where I cooked them for two and a half minutes. After two and a half minutes, I removed them from the boiling water and transferred them to a bowl of ice water. This prevents them from overcooking. Once they were cool, I removed them from the ice bath. Next, I added some freshly chopped garlic, soy sauce, a bit of granulated sugar, some chili powder, and a chopped scallion. Then I added three tablespoons of avocado oil to a small saucepan. When it reached 350 degrees, I removed it from the heat and poured it over the top of the dumplings. Then I tossed everything together. After that, they were ready to serve. I was really excited to try this dish. Instead of turning out delicate like gnocchi, they were more substantial and chewy, which I like. I also really enjoyed the Asian flavors, and if you've been here before, I know you're not surprised to hear that. I'm sure it would be equally delicious with any type of sauce you prefer. I've added a link to the original video and recipe in my description box, so I hope you'll give it a try sometime. And I hope you'll come back and see me again soon. Who knows what I'll come up with next? Don't forget to subscribe!